Hey folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. It is Wanda's Legacy. Still our max difficulty, lightly modded run, mostly vanilla type mods. Security for allies. Three raids. Architect arm? Oh! Hell, the armor. Oh, man. Can we possibly handle that. We got to keep their mood up, and there's going to be three raids. And we're playing this caravan. We got some time to think about it, but I think the answer is going to be no. Oh, hello, transport pod. Um. Well, I guess we're going to want some food for our trips. Doesn't. I'm just remembering. Isn't one of the things with the nutrient paste dispensers people will eat the survival meals first? Maybe not if you're transhumanist. I seem to remember having to like manage like turning off the, the survival meals, turning it back on, turning it off, turning it on, and just being generally annoyed by that, but I might be mistaken. They will eat regular cooked meals before survival meals, but I'm worried they eat survival meals before nutrient paste. Um, Rimworld nutrient paste before survival meal. People talk about, well, these are old posts. You can have them hidden behind things. Have the survival meal stockpile in a room designated for prisoners. Make sure it's a room in your freezer, otherwise safe temperature. Just a decent spot. Oh, that's smart. Oh, that is smart. So, okay, this is something we do know about. If you have food, and this has happened before when like, uh, early game, we just have one big room, including our food stockpile, and we get a prisoner. So we just throw a prisoner bread down, and the whole room gets flagged as a prisoner room, which means all the food in there is flagged for prisoner consumption, and your people don't eat it. Um, so what this thread suggests is we could dig out uh, a little extra side room over here that's vented to my freezer. So it gets the freezing benefits. You put a little prisoner bed in there, but we never use it. But then, And then we put the critical priority survival meal stockpile in here. So survival meals will get stockpiled in here and your pawns won't eat it because it'll be recognized as prisoner food. Okay, that is an interesting trick. Now, if a prisoner gets brought there, then they'll start eating your survival meals, but we'll also see, oh, we don't actually want that. So you just, you just make it a sleeping spot so you can like tear it down or rebuild it or whatever um, as the need arises. Okay, so if we have a problem where our people are eating our survival meals before the um, before the nutrient paste dispenser, we will use that trick. Because, yeah, I could and I have gone and managed the food restrictions, but the problem is you have to make sure to turn it back on for when you're doing a caravan. And presumably people will grab meals from here for planning a caravan. Oh, maybe they don't. I don't know. Call some pets, prioritize eating packaged survival meals. Yeah, so a lot of people make a second restriction for travel, which I'm going to forget all the time. Oh, packaged survival meals count as a five meal, a fine meal with a plus five mood buff. Really? Well, maybe that's why they prioritize it. Hmm. I'm checking the wiki here. Survival meal. Or package survival meal, I guess is what it's called. I wonder if there's any tips and tricks on the wiki page. Mm, no. So wait, do they eat package survival meals before simple meals? I don't think they do. Of course, there's a mod. Maybe I should just run a mod for this, because really what we're talking about is I'm having to micro things, and I don't want that. All right, the whole idea is we're trying to remove sort of silly and annoying micromanagement. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, that'll be something for me to check after this episode, I suppose. I mean, we don't even have the survival meal tech right now. Not any research happening currently. I mean, it doesn't help that Emily is also working on clothing. I guess we got a party going on right now. Is that what's up? Yep, party is finished. All right. Laura, yeah, Laura's about ready to pop. That's work, clean clothes room. Okay. I mean, ideally, we just bring 13... You know, again, as long as they're normal, but that would be the minimum, right? 13 normal robes and then keep the rest for sales, but that's okay. Caravan. Fine. Logging worksite. Not interested in raiding a, a logging worksite. Did we get all the aminals in? We got a stallion, but that's it. Poppy? Oh, you're asleep. You'll have to wake up and you'll get something to eat. I feel like they do eat simple meals first, though. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, everyone still keeps talking about micromanaging everything. Find time, manage food policy. Hmm. It would be interesting, and I'm not saying that it should be in the base game, but be able to explicitly set a priority the food so yeah right now what it'd be looking like is we would make a new food restriction and this one here basically has everything allowed um we'll just call this one travel and the important thing is that it allows packaged survival meals and then for the default one we go and turn that off Sorry, did it say you had a 0% fertility? Oh, probably because you're not in a couple. Is that why? And I mean, I guess yours is probably 0%. Oh, you're 100%. Yeah. Because probably you are in a couple. Or is Audrey really old? Oh, 56. That might be it. I'm sorry. Not really old, but past the age of fertility. Okay, a little annoying that we got a second stallion before a mare. Because what if they wander off the screen? What if they've already wandered off the screen? Okay, mares are still there. I'm going to actually turn off the Ibexes. We're going to prioritize the uh, the mares here. Because we got one Ibex already. So what we're looking for is Ibex. I don't know if they're called Ibex stags. They might be. But I think they are set with Ibex, as opposed to like mare versus stallion, which are in separate places alphabetically. Which is a little annoying. All right, Poppy, you're going to eat your meal, and then you're going to slaughter a bull. Okay, and then you're going to tame a mare. Good. Good luck. Hopefully you get it on the first go. The extra slaughtering is giving us some extra leather as well to make sure we do have the material for these robes. And actually, that job is nearly done. Successfully timed it, tame the mare. Lovely. So yeah, right now we're keeping one breeding pair of cows. One bull, one, one cow, I suppose. One heifer, maybe? Um... And then, yeah, as things will come of age, they'll get slaughtered. And technically, they can keep around if, if it gets pregnant, and then one comes of age, and then it gets pregnant, and we might have more. But eventually, these numbers are going to dwindle down and perhaps just get eliminated completely. Um, but right now, we'll, we'll kind of keep it in this pattern until we get maybe the Ibexes. And hell, I mean, we could just keep the uh, the horses. I don't think they're quite as, like, meat and milk efficient, but they still work fine. We could just do horses. We could go with Dothraki, right? Just horses. I don't hate that idea. Especially since ideally we kind of like to keep a, a higher number of them. Oh, we could start gelding, I suppose. Keep a higher number of them so we don't have a bunch of pregnant ones we take with us on the routes. We could do that. We could get to a certain critical number and then just geld the males. There's a button for it here, right? No, that's free. They're right over here. Sterilize. I like that you can shift click and do them all. That's actually very handy. But we might not want to do that because we might want a constant supply of leather. 
and meat, because why not? Again, probably not as quickly as cows. I'd have to look up the pages to compare things, but it does keep everything simpler if it's just the one species. Lifter, right, you're grabbing those. Did we get the components? I probably went and um, brought them in already. Hmm. Stack here. Select all on the map. All urgently in case there are some random ones somewhere. Oh, compacted machinery meteorite. Oh, Randy. What did I do to deserve that present? Thank you. So yeah, with the extra batteries, I don't think we've had a power brownout in a bit. And I'm sure we're still going to want this soon. Masterwork robe. Is that the last robe? It is. So, well, neutron paste is about to come in. Uh, what's next? Maybe we just get a multi-analyzer. It does lead to fabrication. Plus, in general, the multi-analyzer means all other research will happen faster. So that might not be the worst idea in the universe. So we're going to set up a job here for package survival meals, which I'll do after, like, the priority feeding, sure. Um, that, although it's not a long walk, we can take some cooked meals for this particular trip here. So the question is, what do we take? We know what the persona is from here. Mad muttering, reducing their mood all the time, ignores pain, which can be dangerous because sometimes they can keep fighting longer. This can also set things on fire, but it, that's pretty cool. Integrator for being able to run lots of max is fine. But I don't know how much I care about it because it does replace the helmet slot as well. Uh, Prestige recon helmet. I mean, it's only good quality. I think we grab the plasma sword. Okay, we have 15 days. Nasus is over here. I don't know if we have to bring Emily, because she's got a title. I don't think so for this, because although if we want to actually trade there, we need that, but we also need a throne room. Um, I don't know if I can do it in here. That's ideology. Where's, I guess there's not a royalty category. Is throne just under furniture? Oh, it's possible I don't have the tech for it. Oh, there we go. No altars, yeah. No beds, so I can't double up on here. No work facilities, I think. So that's not okay. Yeah, I think it would really need its own room. So I don't know if I don't think we'll be able to trade. I think we'll just we'll just do the mission. Because there's a specifically like turn in thing button. But we won't be able to make a bigger trade caravan out of it. Also, this landscape sucks. I might still send Emily, though. I don't know if we need all these. Well, let's figure... Okay, first robe. Oh, one of them's poor. Also, this is not 13. Are people wearing the robes? Oh my god, they're wearing the robes. So, a couple of things. First of all, uh, current outfit, edit, robe... Don't wear these freaking robes. That's annoying. Also, I think I need to produce at least a couple. Um, I think it may just be the one. I'm gonna reset you there, Haskin. Yeah, you'll change your clothes. Okay, eat a meal, but then you should start a robe. I was afraid people would wear it. I didn't realize the robes would be so enticing. Outer. So you're wearing that instead of a duster. Really? Hmm. All right. People are changing their outfits. There you go. Removing that. Good. Oh, do you just have a shit parka? I guess we didn't have enough good dusters. Ah. Yeah, well, I mean, this is at zero. So, I mean, I'm not talking about good dusters here, which is the Devil Strand. I just meant any dusters of high enough quality, and apparently we didn't. I guess things have been decaying, then we sent all our material to do robes. Uh, Haskin. Okay, you're about to get up and then keep working on the rope. Good. Yeah, 
nutrition. Yeah, it's there, but barely. Already pregnant. Do we go and just slaughter all the cows right now? Well, slaughter all the adults and wait for them to grow and then do that. We got our second mare. So that is going to stress the food in here. You know what? I think I'm okay with that idea, actually. I think... Uh, so I don't want to change the total. I just want to change the adults to zero. So we won't slaughter the, um, uh, the calves and stuff until they come of age. But yeah. The cows have done some great stuff for us, but we're happy to move on to something else. We may or may not do the Ibex thing. We'll see, but for now, that's going to be okay. All right, Haskin working on that robe, and that will finish that job completely, giving us an extra masterwork one. Now, let's go back and try to form a caravan here to there to accept to at least... We might bring more, although more also means more visibility. I mean, it means more fighters. All right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12, 13. And in case I did something stupid, I'm going to bring an extra one because I don't know. Uh, so yeah, mass limits are starting to get there, but that's okay. Get a stallion here. If I get another one. Oh, it does bring down the time a little bit more. Okay. Oh, there you got package survival meals. So don't bring any fine meals at all. 1.1 days. We got more than enough above that. And yeah, I don't think I can trade because I don't have the title high enough right now. So we're just going to do the quest completion. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember. We got the caravan. Oh, there it is. Couldn't I couldn't see it, but I was like, I'm pretty sure it's over here. And Emily seems to be walking in the direction I expect. There you go. She's going to leave immediately. Dirty here. Where's my clean bot? Oh, it's recharging. I guess it's allowed to do that sometimes. And I think we're okay not having Emily around. Just some important stuff for us, but she's not the only person who does it, so. And say she's probably gonna rest instantly. Oh, wait, we, we don't have bed rolls. That's a good point. So, first of all, let me get rid of the robes job because we don't need that anymore. I mean, I really don't care what material it's made out of, but I guess cloth. Mm. Start with six, because we're we're not going to be bringing everyone necessarily, and if some people don't have beds, oh well, tough tough for them. I do like the mod that lets you make bed rolls out of here instead of building them here and then you know unbuilding them, but uh, uninstall. There we go. Still don't need shells. We're still good there. We do have an excellent cloth duster. Oh. But it is quite worn out. Aha. Tattered. Is that a Devil Strand Duster? It is. Masterwork Devil Strand Duster. That I like a lot. I'm just going to move quite quickly along the road here. See, I was worried about the path, but turns out you can spend a lot of time on this road and just go cross country right at the very end, which is the reason the trip's not too bad, especially with the horses. Of course, I brought my stallions, so we're not getting another breeding going on, but that's okay. Masterwork Cloth Duster. It's only cloth, but that's fine. Is that a good trader? Well, Audrey. You're pretty good at talking. We could sell some of the cattle. I don't know. So, I mean, in theory, again, it'd be great. Neutromian components, advanced components, maybe. Sell the seed. Nothing else to say. Oh, do I want to get a telescope? Well, I don't have any money. And apparently we don't actually have anything to sell to these guys. Look at this, but I still kind of... I mean, we got lots of food, but... We're not going to have the meat for a little bit. Oh, that's a damn shame. So I think the flake... I think the flake was the better one for making money. Yeah, it was the better one if you want your people to take stuff. Would it do forever? We do end up with any. Yeah, I don't have the T-Tech right now, which is fine. 
All right, we got baby food. 40. Does he get 40 out of one batch? Well, you see, I, oh, you probably get 10 per batch. You know what? That's fine. And the baby food stacks, it's basically... I mean, it's a little hard to see here. Yeah, baby food. One stack, ready to go. Nothing wrong with that. Hang on. Right, no, yeah, I haven't banned the package survival meals yet. Okay. But what we may need to do is keep an eye on this. So I've got 21 survival meals. Although they should eat the fine meals first. Maybe I should forbid the fine meals for a second, see what happens. Another trade ship. Wow. Well, that was exotic goods again, I think. Comet supplier. Actually might be a way to make a few bucks. I don't know, I kind of want to keep that flak vest. Oh, we got some flake right away. And you also sell components. Okay. More dusters. Yeah, people were clearly looking to get that. Poppy's got nothing to do. Well, for a sec, they didn't have anything to do. That's what we need to do is keep an eye on the wildlife. Uh, I guess, okay, you can tame more of these Ibex does. That's a deer doe. And then the deer buck. So yeah, I think what we need is an Ibex buck. We can keep them for now. They're not going to breed. They're not going to multiply. And that's fine. This food situation is going to be okay again. I mean, partially because we got a couple of horses with us. Em, how you doing? All right, nearly there. And yeah, theoretically, the visibility there is low. I'm replacing components. Do we build a throne room? Do we get ready for that? Oh yeah, our power situation is going to be better with these things too. Oh, which reminds me, I should home zone these so they get maintained. Okay. And then yeah, I still have this on forbid, but turns out we don't need this right now. But we're ready to go when that happens. Okay, I'm just having a snooze just outside the base. That's okay. Two cycles of sleep was probably inevitable, inevitable then. Do people not buy tinted stuff? It's possible. You no, know, let's just set up a burn apparel. Do forever. Not clean. So anything that's tainted. So I don't think these can get tainted anyway. And I guess it's turned off by default because it's like pretty bad. I don't know. But yeah, so we don't burn anything clean. So this will only burn anything that's tainted. We can go ahead and burn it. Yes, you can sell it. It just gen gen doesn't generally give you a lot of cash. Same thing, we'll do a do forever, um, turn off non-biocoded. So anything that's biocoded, we will burn. And then another one, which is we are burning things that have less than 55% HP. Because they're not going to sell for much anyway, so it doesn't matter. We should, um... Oh, we've, already, we've got the smelting one over here. And this is turned on, oh, probably because when I moved it, it probably reset the power. And over here, I'm going to change that there. Just sort of squoosh everything in a little bit more. Uh, we did build this. We need to copy and paste those jobs to the stone cutters table. And yeah, reinstall that. Well, that would be the pattern this way. I could do that. Maybe yeah, I will, I think, actually. Masterwork, plain leather pants. Oh, we should get our growth fat ready to go. Right there. So we're going to give birth soon. And the last thing we want to do is take care of a baby. Yeah, so actually, I forgot. I built this, um, this crib. Um, I will uninstall it. We'll just sell it. Because we're going to be growth fatting the kid. I forgot completely. And not that I would ever forget something in a game. I mean, God. Um, you must be here. Oh, no. You're only arriving now. Let's say, have you been leaving um, Emily Park there? But no, no. She only just woke up. So she should go back to sleep, which is weird, but... 
The fill trade offer. Give 13 robes. Done. Quest complete. Uh, and yeah, you can't trade here because you don't have the rank, as expected. So just return home. Lovely. And we're going to get a flaming persona sword of madness. That sounds fine and healthy. I can't see any problems with that. If we gave if I gave one of those to my one of my D&D &D characters, I, I think the player would be perfectly fine and content. It's like it's flaming sword it induces madness. Hmm. I think these can get can go in a throne room and that's perfectly OK. I just build it over here, maybe. I mean, we can encroach a little bit over here, too. Space is getting a little tight. But we don't really need much more uh, until we start making. If we want to make individual bedrooms, then it gets tighter. And at some point, Emily's going to want that because of a royal title. But that could be expanded. Well, digging too much into here will lead to bugs. It's an insects, not not game glitches. I mean, I don't necessarily need the biggest size. I can't remember how big you need at the high end for these titles. Um, I don't know what the quickest way to find that is. Here. Acolyte. We go down to, like, Duke level? Throne room. Oh, 80 tiles. Okay. That's pretty big. Um, what's the square root of 80? So let's call it nine by nine. Right, that makes sense, because that would be 81 tiles. Herp a derp. So if I do an 11-11 exterior, I mean, that's going to be... We probably want a little bit bigger, but I guess it doesn't have to be... All right, we can do this. So 13 by 12, which gives us an internal space of 12 by 11, which is more than enough. Yeah, build this throne room. All right. Oh, ambushed by manhunting rats. Okay, this is more than a little scary. water yes so things will move slower which is very good yeah your combat skills not great um yeah, you're fleeing I say don't get into the uh combat radius there we go point blank range yes good job Emily you got this woohoo all right, reform caravan, go home. Full of tainted clothes, we don't care about that. Yeah, Andrew, dead drifter over there. Huh. Oh, some herbal medicines. Done. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that was scary. I was really hoping to avoid any ambushes by traveling alone, like by traveling small, but I probably should have gotten two people so they could at least cover each other. Uh, I guess over here, what I can do is I can designate the build roof area immediately, so thing the trees get designated to be chopped immediately, and we can get started on that. And yeah, we can build a fancy bedroom right next door here, because we shouldn't have to trim away much mountain. I mean, we don't have to rush that either. Prisoner room, hospital... Uh, Multi-analyzer. I did build the tra research transport pods, right? I did. So actually, we could consider building that. Is that our miscellaneous? Yeah. So first pod launcher. I guess we have to get the chem fuel going, too. Um, right, okay, that makes sense. No, right here is going to be fine. Production biofuel. Huh? Floor is in labor. Oh! Gather for birth. 
begin. I'm sorry Emily's gonna miss it. But that's okay. The important thing is we get a healthy birth, and that we get a Persona Plasma Sword is also pretty important. I'm talking about Mega Scarabs right now, really? Is that the most important thing? In your opinion? Alright. I think Laura's gonna be raging at you, and rightfully so! Come on! We're gonna want a smooth surface over here for beauty, including the corner. From intense to mild. Alright. M. Yeah, and you are gonna have to sleep one more time before you get here. Probably. Ah, uh, maybe not, actually. No, I guess you're fine now. Some of this bar is when it's nearly done. Ibex Doe 3. Little bit of flame. Healthy childbirth. Excellent! Bartholomew. I like it. One of the apostles. One of the least remembered apostles. Unless unless I'm wrong and I'm never wrong. Pretty sure that's the case. Alright, so we gotta let this initial... I don't know if it's breath feeding right now. Yeah, it is. Okay, we gotta let that go by. And now, insert person. Oh! You're gonna go by Rivera. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, Rivera. That's gonna be okay. Well, unless I wanna do the combined name thing. You know what, I'm gonna leave the default name here. So insert Rivera into the pod. And then we'll pop you out when you're uh, a toddler. Gotta feed you. You're back. Huntsman, can you, if I wake you up? Yeah, you'll go and feed. Good. Come on, she just gave birth. Pay attention, people. All right, yeah, at some point those lives will be unpacked, hopefully relatively soon. And we'll equip some plasma sword. Plasma swordage. Major bird risk. Yeah, well, she's pretty miserable for everything. Recreation starved right now. I guess that might be one of the things of traveling alone. You have like no social recreation either, right? You're gonna get it for meditating. Ooh, bloodthirsty gathering. Oh, the vamp thing. Do we want to make ourselves a vampire? This is pretty good. On the other hand, we've made a vampire basically every game since Ideology came out. So I'm wondering if we just don't this time. Just we just we just say we don't, and we take we could still accept this. For the components of the glitter world medicine. I know some people are gonna be like, but vampire. Yeah, true. Maybe that'll be the impetus impetus for uh, changing our um, uh, like xenotype thing, because one of us is becoming sanguifage. Probably Emily. Although she doesn't need it with her super immune trait. Maybe Audrey, who's getting a little older and might want a solution to that. She's already a cannibal. Okay. You guys convinced me. Do we get to choose? All right, they'll arrive in a few hours. I think we have to protect them. Well, I don't know. Different directions, spend several hours. Promise give you reward and then you leave. Maybe trade them and attack them, but We'll get a reward any. We'll get the, the, the implantation anyway. We could turn on them, but I think sometimes they get attacked by a random third party. So we would want to be around and protect them when they show up. If they're only meeting for a few hours. Okay, they have arrived. Where are they meeting? You're in the pod, right? No, no one's potted you yet. No. <laughs> Just throw the baby on the ground for a sec. Now. Okay. There you go. Prioritize Gordon. All right. You're in the vet. Good. Um, where'd you go? Okay. There's the other one. So it's a blue dot. Oh, shit's on fire, yo. Where's the other blue dot? They had left here, and they'd walk down this way. Oh! There they are. Where are they meeting? Right next to the fire. 
Oh, are they meeting inside? That's actually very convenient. I think I've had this before, but they were like out in the middle of nowhere. Need baby crib. We don't need a baby crib. I guess I can get rid of the warning. Oh, creepy cool meeting. Yeah, we don't need the crib. They're in the growth fat. Now, we can put down fine tiles here because ultimately we'll need it, but it takes a lot of material and a lot of time to build that. We don't need it early on. So I might just build a regular tile first and then just some point much later go and replace those. I mean, then you do extra work overall, but it's not really a problem. Same thing with, um, at some point, we're going to need the, uh, the grand throne, but we can just make a regular throne for now. So that's probably just what I'll do. That, and again, we'll just slate tiles. Add rat. Hold on a sec. Uh, I suspect you'll just end up walking through the trap and killing yourself. Although, maybe, you know what? Maybe we don't want to replace the, uh, the wooden trap. Don't hit the rhinos. That might be bad for our health. Um, that piece was about to end. I guess what I'll do is I'll put a cut in here. It gives me a chance to put in a save in case I like F up how we assign the reward to this. I was actually really surprised we didn't get to pick it here, but maybe they just leave the Xenogerm behind as opposed to biting us. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to see you next time. Folks, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.